Hey guys, I am Gautam from IIT Kharagpur and welcome to Gmix. In this video, I am going to talk about one very very important topic that is Hermeticity. This is important for uh, basically IIT JAM and also NET and GATE examination and also for other MSc entrance examination. Okay, so what is Hermeticity? What is uh, what uh, does it mean Hermeticity? So you have already uh, read this topic in your uh, class 11 or 12 standard but here you will get something extra. Okay, so keep watching. So, what is aromatic? What does uh, this word aromatic mean? Actually, aromatic word is originated from order or aroma of benzene-like uh, benzene -like compounds. Okay. So, initially, it was the thought that the only benzene-like system or benzene compounds uh, show the aromaticity. Okay. But now, a different method uh, is used to determine a system uh, whether a system is aromatic or not. Okay. So, what uh, there are only four different conditions to determine a system whether a system is aromatic or not. Okay, so the conditions are one, you just need to remember these four uh, conditions and then you can easily determine a system as aromatic or other something other. Okay, so I'll discuss everything. So, first condition is you have to look at the system and the system uh, is uh, whether the system is cyclic or not. Then, second condition a system should be. Planar. The third condition, the system should have continuous delocalization of electron. And finally, the fourth condition is the system should follow or should obey 4n plus 2 pi electron system. The system should be a for 4n plus 2 pi electron uh, system that is 4n plus 2 number of pi electron should be present in the system here n varies as 0 1 2 3 okay and now here i want to add something that if a system follows these three rule and it disobeys the fourth rule instead it obeys the five rule that is the system is a 4n pi electron system okay then what happened then the, then we will call uh, the system as anti aromatic okay so if the system obey 1 2 3 and rule 5 then we will say the system uh, will be anti aromatic and if the system obeys 1 2 3 4 this four rule then we will call uh, we will say that the system obeys or system will be the aromatic Okay, so to be aromatic 1, 2, 3, 4, this rule uh, is to be satisfied, and to be anti aromatic 1, 2, 3, and 5, this uh, 4 rule uh, should be satisfied. Okay, so now coming to different kind of examples, and if a system doesn't obey any of these rules, that is, it is not maybe cyclic, but it obeys the left one, but in that case, we will say the system will be non aromatic. Okay, I will give you example of all this kind. So just keep watching. So now let's take an example. Say this is the first example, and a system like this. This is a three-member system. It's it is cyclopropene. Okay. So in that case, it obeys the first rule. That is, the system is cyclic. Okay. Of course, this is a cyclic, not uh, a cyclic. So this is this system is cyclic. Then the second rule that says that the system should be planar. Of course, the system is planar. So second rule is uh, obeyed by the system and next coming to the third rule that says the system should have the continuous delocalization okay of electron so here this the third rule is not obeyed by the system because here continuous delocalization of this pi electron isn't possible uh, in other words this, this system will not participate in uh, into resonance okay why because the if this pi one shifts towards here and it becomes like this one then the, uh, this system and this system is not the, this kind of resonance is not possible why because they are here there is no positive charge but here there is a positive charge but how to stabilize this system it should be resonance stabilized but this system is not stable that much okay so that is why this kind of actually resonance isn't possible so it uh, it is not uh, the third rule is not obeyed by the system so that is why you can say that the system if the system of fourth rule or five fifth rule then then also you cannot uh, say that system is uh, aromatic or anti-aromatic okay so if the system uh, doesn't obey 
first any of these first second and third rule then you can easily uh, finalize that the system is non aromatic okay but if a system obeys these three rule and uh, then say it obeys the fourth rule then it, uh, we will say the, that the system is aromatic and otherwise uh, if uh, the it obey the it obeys the fifth rule we will say the system will be anti aromatic if it uh, doesn't obey then the system will be non aromatic okay so this is all about the basic example so coming to next example the second example so this is non aromatic n so next coming to another example which says this kind of so the example is like this it's the this like system okay this is called cyclo uh, propenyl cation okay so this system is actually aromatic how so it is cyclic of course second this is planar of course this shows continuous delocalization of electron how if this double bond shifts right here okay so what kind of structure we will get this bond and positive charge will be shifted right here and finally we get that after one more resonance we will get the double bond like this and this is how the pi bond uh, is uh, moving throughout the system okay and thus this system is uh, this system shows continuous delocalization of pi electron okay and if, then coming to fourth rule that is 4n plus 2 pi uh, pi electron so in that system one pi bond is present that is why that is why the system one pi bond means two electron two pi electron so if we put n equals to zero then we will get two pi electron that is the system if for n equals to zero the system is aromatic because it uh, obeys the fourth rule okay one two th three th first second third and fourth rule okay so that is why it obeys third and fourth rule so th this is uh, this system is aromatic okay so now coming to another example which is about the system let's take the system will be anti aromatic so i am taking the same example but here is the negative charge so these negative charges will this kind of resonance is possible so we will get the system like this the negative charge right here and double bond right here and we will get one more structure so this continuous delocalization is possible uh, right here also so this is cyclic this is planar continuous delocalization is possible and also but one thing is uh, important there because during resonance this um, negative charge that is here two electron okay this electron will act as a pi bond or pi electron because in this process this minus these negative charges will form this kind of pi bond so this pi bond and these negative charges are equivalent so here two pi bond right here or this kind of negative charges so two pi electron two pi electron that is total four pi electron that is if you put here the in the initial formula that if n equals to if we if you put n equals to one then you will get four pi electron system so that is why the system that is this one or this one uh, is uh, anti aromatic anti okay so this is uh, all about the anti aromatic system okay now coming to a different other kind of example okay so the next example is fourth question this is this kind of system so this kind of it it is planar this is cyclic this continuous uh, delocalization of electron is possible and also this system doesn't follow the 4n plus 2 system but it follows the 4n pi electron system because if you put n equals to 1 you will get 4 pi electron that is 1 2 2 pi bonds are present that is why 2 pi bond that is 4 pi electrons are present for n equals to 1 so this obeys the uh, fifth rule instead of fourth rule so that is why the system is anti aromatic okay so now coming to another example that is like this the edited form of this one so it is like this or you may write like this plus plus or two plus okay so this both of these are actually same so this system will be aromatic how this is planar this is cyclic continuous delocalization is possible how if you uh, delocalize the pi bond right like this then what you get you will get the positive charge right here and one positive charge right here so both the system are same and you will get another structure okay so thus this has the continuous delocalization and finally you will get the initial structure after uh, continuous delocalization of those all those structures okay 
so it is it obeys the third rule it obeys the fourth rule that is 4n plus 2 pi electron so now this is aromatic of course so now coming to another example that is sixth example which is this one okay so this is one first cyclic second uh, planar third continuous delocalization is impossible because like this system here also no charge is present so the here uh, the continuous continuous delocalization is impossible okay so this is non aromatic okay so if if we edit the system like this the seventh example if we put one negative charge right here then what we get this kind of resonance and the system will be like this one okay and we will get another structures another four structure and we, which will give the initial structure okay so continuous delocalization is possible right here if we put one negative charge at this point at this center carbon center okay so now this is cyclic this is planar this is this shows continuous delocalization of electron and this also shows the 4n plus 2 4n plus 2 pi electron system and here n equals to 1 because 2 pi one negative charge that is that forms one pi bond that is two pi electron two pi electron four pi electron six pi electron total six pi electron if we put n equals to one four plus two six pi electron we will get okay so that is why this is aromatic okay so now coming to another example that is a question eight example eight this is benzene you know benzene shows all these options and this is aromatic okay so you apply you can verify this by applying all those uh, four rules okay so this is aromatic so now coming to another example that is so I am telling about all these examples because you may face any one of these in your jam examination or also net or get examination. Okay, so that's why I am giving you a lot of examples. So this is the seven member ring and this is all about the system. So this system will be actually non aromatic. Why? Like this one or like the this one. So this one non aromatic. Sorry, this is anti aromatic, but this one non aromatic. Similarly. This system will be non aromatic. Why continuous delocalization isn't possible right here? Okay, but here continuous delocalization was possible, that is why it is uh, anti aromatic. But here and here continuous delocalization isn't possible. But if we edit the system like this one, then we will get uh, we'll, uh, we can get the system as aromatic or anti aromatic. So it will be aromatic when the system will be like this positive charge. Then Easily delocalization is possible. Okay, so you can verify the delocalization here, then here, here. Total delocalization is possible, and also planar. This is cyclic delocalization is possible, and also this here, here it is a positive charge, so no extra electron uh, is present. So that is why two pi, four pi, six pi. Total six pi. That is four n plus two and n equals to one. Okay, so four n plus two pi electron rule is satisfied. That is why this is aromatic. If we put a negative charge right here, then it should be two electron. 4, 6, 8, 8 electrons. So then it will be anti aromatic. Okay. So if one positive charge, this will be aromatic, and for negative charge, it will be anti aromatic. Okay. So now coming to another example that is very important, very, very important because you can't imagine this like this one. But I know, I hope you already know this one. This is a cyclooctatate train. You may think this is, of course, uh, I have already said, and you can easily get the idea that uh, it, it may be in the anti aromatic but this is not true it is non aromatic why because this system it's looking like this but it actually isn't uh, possible this structure isn't possible for this structure because this is not stable so this system actually looks like the boat like structure that is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so this one then this then this one then this one so this kind of structure is possible for the system so this is a boat like structure so it's not planar that is why it is non aromatic okay now let's talk about the aromaticity of higher anulin so let's uh, give some example so the example cell this one this is a benzene this is also a, an alun anulin then this one another anulin and also this one is also an anulin okay so this is called 2 pi electron 
there is uh, sorry two pi bond that is four pi electrons are present so it is called four anil a n n u l n aniline this is six aniline this is eight aniline this is ten aniline a lot of uh, other anilines are present that is uh, twelve aniline fourteen aniline eighteen aniline so okay so let's uh, give some example about twelve aniline okay so 12 how it will be uh, it will look like this one okay so this type of structure is possible for this one okay so here this is called 12 aniline so this for this one this is actually a cyclic system planar system then of course uh, has continuous delocalization but it will show 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is 12 pi electron and it follows the 4n pi electron rules so that is n here equals to 3 so that is why this is anti aromatic okay 12 aniline but the twice negative charge of the system that is system is like this but two negative charges or the system looks like this one so be careful you can get other pictures also so just watch carefully so you may get this kind of thing and here two negative charges so this kind of system means actually this system follows 4n plus 2 pi electron rule and thus it is aromatic okay now coming to another important topic that is homo aromaticity this is very important topic so for net examination uh, you may face this kind of uh, unusual things okay so for home aromaticity what is actually this one so if a stabilized cyclic system which follows the 4n plus 2 pi electron system uh, system which may be the this 4n plus 2 pi electron system can be formed so if a stabilized cyclic system can be formed by bypassing one saturated atom okay so let's give an example so first take this one cyclooctatetraene so you know this is a uh, non aromatic system this is normally non aromatic system but when we treat this with concentrated h2o support that is actually for with h plus okay then what kind of structure we will get we will get this kind of structure and you should know this one especially this example one positive says right here and two hydrogen atom right here so this Kind of system we can easily rewrite like this one this kind of resonance here is possible and uh, i have already said you the bypassing of one saturated atom so this is the atom which can be bypassed by this kind of resonance okay Wh then what we get what we will get we will get this kind of system okay and finally the positive charge will be right here here one point here and in this way the resonance is total resonance is possible okay by bypassing this carbon atom this uh, by bypassing this carbon atom okay so this is called actually homo aromaticity and this is not aromatic this is not aromatic but this system is completely aromatic after treating with concentrated h2 support okay and what factor is responsible for that the factor is homo aromaticity so this factor is homo first initially the system is not was not arom aromatic but after treating some kind of reagents the system turns into aromatic by bypassing one carbon atom or one uh, atom so that is why the system is here homo aromatic okay so we will say it as homo aromatic but uh, here one important thing is the stability of a true aromatic system that is benzene or naphthalene other kind of system is much more stable than the homo aromatic system so this is not that much stable as the benzene one although both are aromatic okay so now we'll uh, discuss about some fused ring fused system that those are actually I, i'll give you this uh, the example only because you will uh, you already have an idea about uh, those aromatic or non-aromatic or anti-aromatic systems so fused examples fused uh, rings fused systems which are actually aromatic are of course naphthalene then anthracene then phenanthine and this kind of other examples okay so this all these fused uh, systems are actually planar cyclic of course um, there are multiple benzene rings are present in those kind of systems and also continuous delocalization is possible and that is why these systems are aromatic okay 
so thus all the systems aromatic may be anti aromatic or uh, non aromatic okay so this is all about those kind of systems and i will definitely make a blog on this also on this topic so check my uh, description and you will get the link of that blog and you can also join the facebook group okay and here i want to add something that if you want to buy any uh, book uh, that will help you a lot in your uh, jam study or jam preparation or in your graduation then you can buy those books from my blog and that will help me to get some commissions from there okay so if you need to buy then you can uh, go to my blog of course you will get the link in the description below okay so just buy from there that will help me a lot in my study okay so thank you thanks for watching